Yo, 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 May 22nd, and we have a ton of market activity today uh, that stays true to basically what I've been experiencing, which is a ton of showings, ton of calls, uh, which is a great sign. Local real estate market is booming. So 898 David over in New Monterey, uh, 765 list price, two bed, two bath, 1,200 square foot. Um, you know, this is similar to that sub million dollar PG market. Um, considering that it's only a block, two blocks away, this is a busy street being on David Avenue, but it's almost in PG. One of the major, not major, but one of the undercuts here is that you're not in that PG school district, but this is still a really great property at a really great price. Uh, Carmel Valley, uh, seven bed, seven bath, 67 square, 100 square foot, uh, almost 4.3 million. This is a massive, sunny, beautiful house. Uh, if you're looking to have a major property, uh, this is probably a good thing to look at, especially if you want to get in that sunshine and enjoy uh, the Carmel Valley weather. Okay. Over on Lazaro, four bed, four bath, 3,200 square foot, a little over 3 million. Um, this is kind of down by that Atherton neighborhood. You typically can get some pretty good views on Lazaro. You get better square footage. Um, I'm surprised to see it's listed all the way up into the threes. But again, I think this is a really desirable property. Uh, I'd be interested to see how long it takes to go into escrow. Forest Ridge Condo. That's two bed, two bath, 1,200 square foot, listed at 539, unit number 13. These things, uh, we manage a couple of these as a rental. They're great uh, condos. Skyline Forest is awesome, right? You're, you're right in the middle of everything. You're five minutes from PG, Monterey, Carmel and Pebble Beach. Everything is like right there, uh, very top of the hill. You typically have some really cool views over in this Forage Ridge condos uh, and a pretty decent entry level price. So this is a this is a pretty cool um, listing that's popping up. Central Ave over in PG, three bed, two bath, 1,400 square foot, very PG eclectic. You can tell by the photo. Um, listed at about 1.3. This is about quintessential Pacific Grove as it gets with the uh, Easter egg pastel colors. And, um, and definitely, <laughs> this is PG. Okay, over to, um, over to list price decreases. 514 4th Street. Okay, do we see a trend here, guys? If you're watching these videos every day, they're just slowly, incrementally jumping down, staying in front of everyone's face. Eventually, this deal is going to be too good for everyone to ignore. I, I think this is a sweet property. I can't understand why it's still available. Perfect for an accessory dwelling unit. In fact, I have some phone calls to make here afterwards because I just I can't keep standing seeing this property price decreasing right in front of me and not jumping on it with somebody. Okay. Over to contingent. We got four contingents today. Mendocino over in uh, Seaside listed almost uh, almost at five. Not surprised to see this going to escrow. Three bed, two bath. This is no brainer. Uh, listed in March. I'm surprised it took that long. Seaside market has been showing a decent amount of activity lately, so that's good to see. Mesa over in Hatton Fields. So this is a four bed, five bath, 2,500 square foot. Now we can see compared to the one that just hit the market today, this one's listed about a million dollars cheaper, pretty close to each other. Um, and, and only about five, 600 square foot smaller, a uh, million bucks difference. Okay, so obviously have not having seen the interior or anything, but this one moved pretty quickly. And I'm not surprised to see that only about 30 days on market, which is pretty dang good for over $2 million property. Um, Noche Buena, another seaside one chugging along. Originally listed at 550, dropped down to 525, right around that $500,000 price point, which is really a hot commodity in either seaside or marina. Two bed, one bath, 814 in square footage, so it is a little bit smaller. This one's been on for a while, about six months, so finally chugging away. And Doherty Place. Okay, we have touched on this one. I think it's gone in and out of escrow before. We've seen a couple of price reductions. Been on the market for about three quarters of the year, so the end of last summer. Um, and what we have here is we have a little bit of road noise, but in because Carmel Valley Road, it tucks back up and around at the end of this cul-de-sac. But you got a four bedroom, three bath, over 2,000 square foot. 
you're in Carmel School District, you're in the River School District, you're close to the barnyard, you're close to a uh, crossroads, you're close to the beach, and you're close to the valley. So, I mean, everything's kind of right there. I think this is a really good bang for your buck. I'm incredibly interested to see who gets this because whoever is going to end up with this property is going to be really happy that they got a really good deal coming into Carmel. We got one pending and then changed to sold four. So four in escrow, four sold today. That is awesome. Man, oh man, Spaghetti Hill is hot. 999 Franklin Street listed at 115. Uh, and then sale price at 115. So it sold at list, went in uh, onto the market during shelter in place, three bed, three bath, a 1900 square foot. We've seen a lot of uh, quick movement over in the Spaghetti Hill area or Old Town Monterey. I'm Italian, so I'm allowed to call it Spaghetti Hill. <laughs> I grew up around here. All right. Final sale price over on 312 First Street, 625, two bed, one bath. 900 square foot. This one was beat, but the lot was awesome. I don't know if it's a complete teardown, uh, but it's getting pretty close. I know it was a cash only deal. Uh, I'm excited to see what they turn this thing into because there's upside. It was just a, it was just a little wonky. All right, Antler Place over in Deer Flats. Uh, we've had a lot of activity over in Deer Flats. Listed at 198, uh, sold for. Uh, a million fifty. It's been on the market for about five months. Three, three, twenty-three hundred square foot. Um, I love the Deer Flats neighborhood. It's super cool. You don't get sidewalks in, in in around here in Monterey and in Carmel. This is like a neighborhood. It, it's it's something we really lack around here. You're over in Deer Flats. You're constantly seeing people walking by, walking their dogs, etc. It's a great little community. Really like it. Okay, Spazier Avenue. Uh, this one was recently listed about a month ago. Traded $500 over ask. There we go. Nice to see it. Over in PG. I'm telling you, PG has been crushing it lately. It just is. seems like all the sales or every other sale is in PG. I love to see it. 2-2, 1,200 square foot, proven the market. Listed at 1-4. Uh, I have a listing coming up here in a little bit that I'm super excited about, and this one makes me stoked. Uh, so let me know. It's currently off market, but I'll tour you if you want to know. It's over on Laurel. Completely remodeled, crazy ocean views, uh, and it's going to be coming around 1-3. So it's going to be a super hot commodity. Uh, give me a call. I'll get you in there early. All right, guys. If you want to see anything, you see any market activity that you want to go check out, give me a call. That one over in PG on 4th Street. Come on. Somebody buy this, right? Let's do it. Uh, let me know. And uh, I'll be available. Give me a call. Bye.